new survival games are popping up everywhere you look. You quickly realize that most of them are terrible. That's why I spent the last few days pouring over hundreds of survival games to compile a list of the actual good ones. Make sure to check out the description or comment section for timestamps. And while you're scrolling down to the timestamps, consider hitting the like button. It helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate the support since these kind of videos take a long time to make. That's enough rambling from me. Enjoy the video. Imperial Galactic Survival, a sandbox survival game, set an expansive outer space environment, and you embark on a journey, and you must explore planets, gather resources, and construct spacefaring vehicles and bases. And this can all be done with your friends. And the game has a great emphasis on a blend of building, crafting, and combat against alien threats. And the open world setting, combined with procedural generation, ensures a unique experience as you will navigate through different biomes, facing environmental challenges and hostile creatures. This War of Mine, a really unique perspective on war, where you're placed in the role of a group of civilians trying to survive a city under siege. And you are challenged not only with battling enemies, but with the really hard decisions that come with scarcity, such as rationing food, making medicine last, and deciding where to help neighbors or save supplies for your own group. And as the days turn into nights, you need to scavenge for resources while avoiding snipers and hostile scavengers. And the game has a great somber tone and moral choices that offers a really reflective experience. And the game will truly test you and the lengths you might go in order to survive. Rust. And it thrusts you into a harsh open world environment with a simple objective to survive. You start bare and alone on a procedurally generated landscape and must manage your hunger, thirst and health while avoiding threats and building a secure base to protect you from the environment and other players. And the game's unique elements line its brutal realism, robust crafting system and unforgiving PvP interactions. And it's a combination of survival, base building and player versus player actions and the game emphasizes on cooperation and conflict where forming alliances with other players can be beneficial but also risky. And the game continuously evolves with raids, airdrops, and random events, keeping the experience fresh and challenging. Ark Survival Evolved, a really ambitious survival game that transports you to a mysterious island filled with dinosaurs. And you wake up on the shoreline completely by yourself, unarmed, hungry, and vulnerable. And you will need to survive. But this is not an easy task, as defending or avoiding dinosaurs can be quite difficult. Now, the gameplay in Ark is defined by a combination of crafting, base building, and taming mechanics. You will need to gather basic resources, but one of the game's standout features is the ability to tame dinosaurs. And once these are tamed, these can be used for multiple things. You can ride them, use them in combat, or even use their unique skills to help you in gathering items. But what also makes the game so good is the multiplayer mode. You can form tribes with other players, combining your strength and establishing dominance on the island. And a really unique gameplay, comprehensive taming and breeding mechanics, and a truly unique gaming experience. Ark Survival Evolved is definitely a game to play. The Long Dark. And the game is set in the brutal, frozen wilderness of North in Canada after a global disaster. And the game throws you into a role of stranded bush pilot and the ultimate goal is simply to survive as long as you can. But you'll be facing the relentless elements, wildlife and scarcity of resources. And the survival aspects can be incredibly brutal with players needing to manage hunger, thirst, fatigue and temperature all while dealing with frequent snowstorms. At the beginning of the long dark you have very basic tools and you must quickly learn to hunt, find water and seek shelter. And then later into the game survival becomes a delicate balance between resource management, risk taking and strategic planning. And the game offers a truly unique and challenging realistic survival experience unparalleled in the survival game genre, Subnautica. And after your spaceship crashes on an alien planet, you find yourself stranded in the vast ocean. And your ultimate goal, in addition to surviving, is to explore the depths. And diving into the specific of the gameplay, Subnautica provides a unique blend of survival, exploration and crafting. And the underwater setting is not just a gimmick, but forms the very heart of the game, resulting in a truly unique experience within the survival genre. The alien ocean is divided into multiple biomes, each with their own unique resources. And the crafting of Subnautica is both comprehensive and intuitive. And the game offers a deep, immersive experience for those who relish exploration, survival, and a compelling storyline, they see, which takes place in a post-apocalyptic world ravaged by an unknown infection. Your singular goal is to survive, navigate the distant world, scavenge for resources, and fight off hostile players and evade the relentless infected. And the gameplay in DayZ is a slow burn. The early hours are often about the desperate scramble for basic resources, food, water, clothing, and rudimentary weapons. And over time, you build up your capabilities, finding or crafting more advanced equipment, and potentially teaming up with other players for mutual survival, Conan Exiles, where you're playing as an exile and you're left to die in a barren wasteland. And your primary objective is to survive, build your kingdom, and dominate your enemies in both single player and multiplayer modes. The game's multiplayer mode is also substantial, allows you to team up or fight against others. And the gameplay in Conan Exiles starts with a harsh struggle for basic resources 
resources like food, water, and shelter. And as you progress, the game's depth unfolds with complex building mechanics, an extensive crafting system, and really intense PvP and PvE encounters. Astroneer, a sandbox adventure game set in a really vibrant alien universe. And you must take on the role as a space explorer, landing on procedurally generated planets and using your deformed tools to dig, collect, shape, and build structures from the terrain itself. And a primary objective revolves around crafting and exploration. You need to harvest resources, develop tech, set up bases, and uncover the mysteries of the universe. And all of this can be done in multiplayer mode, allowing you and your friends to do it together. And the game has a really charming, colorful graphic and relaxing ambience, making a great environment if you want a bit more relaxing game. Done to the forest. And that is a survival horror game, and the game takes place in a mysterious and unsettling forest, and you find yourself as a lone survivor in a hostile, mutant-filled wilderness. And the gameplay in the Sons of the Forest is a thrilling combination of resource management, base building, and combat. You start off with the basics of survival, gathering resources, crafting tools, and building defenses. And the game gradually evolves as you explore more of the forest. And this constant progression gives a satisfying sense of accomplishment and keeps you invested in the game. Green Hell, which is a super demanding survival game set in the uncharted depths of the Amazon rainforest, with the central goal of surviving and finding a way out. And one of the most unique features of Green Hell is its realistic survival simulator. Aspects such as maintaining your psychological health, inspecting your body for parasites and infections, and crafting tools and camp amenities using resources from the environment set the game apart from other games in the genre. The game also offers a detailed crafting system, an extensive variety of plants and animals to discover, and as you progress, you'll learn to build shelters, craft weapons, set traps, and cook food while facing the psychological effects of solitude and the relentless threats of the environment. Seven Days to Die is a brutal, post-apocalyptic survival game set in a relentlessly hostile open world ravaged by the undead. And your goal as a survivor in this world is to gather resources, build a secure base, defend against relentless zombie hordes, and ultimately survive as long as you can. And early gameplay involves a scramble for basic resources and a safe shelter, while later stages involve more strategic planning to fend off larger and more destructive zombie herds. And the game will appeal to players who enjoy an intense survival focused gameplay with a blend of crafting, building, and combat mechanics. Terraria, one of the most beloved games of all times, and for good reason. And the game takes place in a vast pixel art world, brimming with possibilities. And at the heart of the game is a very simple directive dig into the ground, fight, explore, and build. And you'll begin in a procedurally generated world with basic tools, and you must then mine for resources, battle creatures, and craft equipment. And the game world is expansive and varied, and crafting is a massive part of it, with hundreds of weapons, armors, and potions that can all be made or found throughout the world. And one of the best features of the game is hands down the boss battles. And Terraria, with a blend of exploration, building, combat, and a rich progression system, the game truly offers a deep, engaging experience that can keep you playing for thousands of hours easily. And Scum is a massive multiplayer online survival game set in a dystopian future where prisoners are pitted against each other for a bloody televised spectacle. And the game takes place on an isolated island, and you as a player, your objective is to navigate the harsh environments, survive against both the environment and all the players and ultimately escape the island. And the standout features of Scum are its intricate survival mechanics with its multiplayer interactions. And the gameplay primarily consists of exploring the vast diverse map, scavenging for resources, crafting items, and engaging in PvP combat. But as you progress, you can improve your skills, fortify bases, and better equip yourself to tackle the island's challenges and the threats posed by other players. Stranded Deep, a survival game that thrusts you into the shoes of a plane crash survivor. And the game is defined by realistic approach to survival. The game will start you with very limited resources. You need to scavenge the wreckage and nearby islands for tools, materials, and food. Crafting and resource management become crucial as you need to build shelters, tools, and weapons, and even rafts to explore the vast oceanic expanse. The game also features dynamic weather system, day-night cycle, and intricate health metrics. And Stranded Deep is truly a thrilling and immersive test of your survival skills. Hurt World, a hardcore multiplayer survival game that'll thrust you into a vast hostile environment that is filled with challenges and threats at every turn. And with a deep survival mechanic focus, you must manage hunger, warmth, and health while battling the elements, wildlife, and most significantly, all the players. You will need to build shelter, craft tools, weapons, and vehicles, which are all essential for longevity. And the game is known for really challenging progression, with more dangerous biomes and areas only accessible once you have the proper equipment. And the PvP encounters are intense, and are often high stakes, where you're battling it out for valuable resources. And the game really set itself apart from other survival games 
are maintaining a balanced environment between PvP and PvE. But no matter what, you must stay vigilant, as danger lurks around every corner. Wrath, which plays out in the open ocean, and the core narrative of the game revolves around your character being stranded on a tiny raft in the middle of the sea. And your primary goal is to stay alive against the hostile elements, expand your raft into a floating home, and uncover the mysteries of the vast ocean. And the gameplay in Wrath begins with you on a minuscule floating platform, but nothing but a hook. In the early game, consists of catching floating debris to craft survival tools, gather food, and expand your raft. And as you progress, the survival mechanics unfold, and you encounter islands, underwater exploration, and even confrontations with sharks. And there's also a skill and technology tree that allows you to create advanced tools, weapons, and raft modules. No Man's Sky was an expansive and ambitious science fiction game set in an infinite, procedurally generated universe. And the game's core concept is exploration. There are virtually countless planets, each with unique environments, flora, fauna, and resources. And the sheer scale of the world in No Man's Sky is what has set itself apart from the competition. And in terms of the gameplay, you start off with a basic spaceship and a survival suit, both of which can be upgraded and customized as you progress. Early gameplay involves learning to gather and manage resources, deciphering alien languages, and understanding the mechanics of interstellar travel. And as you progress further on into the game, you can build bases, you can cultivate crops, read creatures, undertake missions, engage in combat, trade, or just explore the endless cosmos of the universe. Don't stop together. The game drops players into a harsh, eerie, and bizarre world filled with strange creatures, dangers, and surprises. The game's ultimate goal? To survive in this untamed wilderness as long as possible. And the game's charm and uniqueness lies in its distinct gothic visual style and the relentless challenge of survival. And at the start of the game, you will find yourself in a randomly generated world with little to nothing in your inventory. And you will need to explore, gather resources, craft items, and eventually build a substantial sustainable base. And as the game progresses, seasons will change, each bring its own set of challenges, and you must continually adapt, finding food, crafting equipment, taming wildlife, and managing your character's health, sanity, and hunger levels. Valheim was a brutal exploration and survival game, which plunges you into the Viking culture. And the game's goal is to slay the ancient enemies of Odin and prove your worthiness to enter Valhalla. And that is an epic journey that can be undertaken alone or with your friends. You start from nothing, surviving by hunting wildlife, crafting items, and building ships. Shelters. And progression involves tackling more challenging environments and defeating bosses, which opens up new materials and recipes for crafting more advanced gear. And Valheim is a perfect match for those who enjoy survival, crafting, exploration, and combat mechanics all rolled into one game. Space Engineers, a sandbox game that melts voxel based building with realistic physics in the vast realm of space. And the game is set in a futuristic setting where space exploration and construction are advanced. You must take on the role of a space engineer, possessing the tools and freedom to design, build, and maintain all kinds of structures and machinery. And central to the game is the building mechanic, with great emphasis on both creativity and functionality. Using an array of components, you need to craft a diverse range of structures and vessels. And due to the game's realistic physics engine, you need to make sure your creation behaves realistically. This means you will need to consider factors like thrust, structural integrity, power distribution, and much more, making the process of crafting these space stations really complicated but also rewarding. The game also features multiplayer, allowing you to co-op and compete in the shared universe. Starbound, a sandbox adventure game that drops you into an expansive, procedurally generated universe, teeming with possibilities. And at its core, Starbound is about exploration, survival, and creation. And the gameplay is rich and varied. You can mine for resources, engage in combat with alien creatures, construct elaborate structure and settlements. You can farm, trade, and even embark on story driven quests. The crafting system is intricate. Moreover, your character can be upgraded with better equipment, abilities, and even mechs. Now, what truly set the game apart from all the sandbox games is the emphasis exploration and storytelling project songboy which takes place in a post-apocalyptic world and the game combines sandbox gameplay with a relentlessly grim atmosphere and following a devastating zombie outbreak your character is an ordinary person thrust into extraordinary circumstances and the gameplay in project songboy is a challenging balancing act starting out you need to scavenge for basic resources and find a safe place to rest but as the game progresses the tasks become more challenging you will need to learn how to farm establish a secure base manage health issues and keep your morale up while the zombie threat grows around you. But the game's skill and perk system allows you to customize your survivor to suit your preferred playstyle. Medieval. This offers a really unique blend of life simulation and survival set in the Middle Ages. And it takes place in an expansive open world where you play as a young man. And you're trying to survive and establish a lasting lineage. And the game truly sets itself apart with its focus on progression over generations. And the game starts you off with just a few basic tools. You gather resources, you hunt for food, and construct a small dwelling. But as you progress, you can expand your homestead at village 
villagers to your community and eventually develop a growing settlement. And this can also be seen later into the game, as you'll need to manage more on a larger scale. Satisfactory. It's got a really unique blend of open world exploration and complex factory construction and management. You take the role as an engineer, and you're tasked with exploiting the planet's resources to build and manage massive automated factories. Satisfactory's gameplay involves a careful balance between exploration, resource gathering, and factory construction. You start off with initial basic tools and must manually gather resources. The progression system involves creating increasingly complex supply chains for producing advanced materials, and Satisfactory is an excellent choice for players who enjoy complex systems, resource management, and open world exploration. Grounded, which offers a unique twist on the survival genre, shrinking you down to the size of an ant and setting you loose in a suburban backyard. Your goal is to survive in this insect-sized world by gathering resources, constructing tiny shelters, and battling against various bugs. And the gameplay starts with basic survival tactics, such as gathering resources, crafting tools, and building simple structures for shelter. However, as the game progresses, you face more formidable insect foes, requiring upgraded equipment and stronger fortifications. And the gameplay maintains a perfect balance between survival, exploration, and narrative progression. Dying Light, a first-person survival horror game set in a world gribbled with a vicious zombie outbreak. Now, what really makes the game stand out is a strong emphasis on movement. The game allows you to run, jump, and climb across the city's vast urban landscape. And this is crucial if you want to escape the zombies, especially at nighttime. And the game has a great blend of combat, exploration, and crafting. And you can customize your own weapons and material. Now, what really set the game apart is the dynamic day-night cycle, engaging combat mechanics, and a really gripping storyline. And Dying Light truly stands out in the crowded zombie game genre. Unturned, which is probably one of the biggest free-to-play games ever made. And you are transported to a world where society has collapsed and zombies roam free. And your main goal is to survive. Explore the expansive maps, find resources, craft, build, and find off the zombie horde to live another day in this harsh new world. And in terms of gameplay, Unturned Stand is a sandbox survival game with an emphasis on resource management and combat. And as the game progresses, the ability to fortify your defensive become increasingly crucial, giving you a higher chance of survival against zombie hordes and potentially hostile players. And the game is a delight if you enjoy a comprehensive survival experience packed with detailed crafting and base building mechanics. Arid, that survival game that drops you in the vast, unforgiving expanses of a desert. And after surviving a plane crash, your mission is to endure and navigate through one of the harshest environments on Earth. And the game brilliantly captures the desolate atmosphere and challenging conditions of the desert. The main gameplay of Arid revolves around core and survival mechanics. This could be anything from maintaining your hydration levels, seeking shelter from the scorching temperature, and scavenging for scarce resources. And what set the game apart from all the survival games is the environmental storytelling and the focus on realism, from the detailed desert landscape to the harsh survival conditions. Islands, a sandbox adventure game that is an incredibly vibrant block style world. And the game invites you to craft, build, and explore, and you'll need to adventure out to navigate islands filled with resources, wildlife, and secrets. And crafting is at the core of the game. You'll be allowed to craft tools, shelters, and even complex machinery. And the exploration extends beyond land, with vast big oceans and mysteries beneath. Moreover, the game also offers a robust editor. This allows you to design your own unique scenarios and games. And overall, this is a great game if you want a mix of creativity and survival for a really diverse gaming experience. Let me know in the comments which game on this list is your favorite, but also what game you're going to try out after watching this video. And if you're looking for more inspiration for games to play, I would highly recommend checking out the videos on the screen now, as I think you will also really like those. So check those out and I'll see you over there.